On August 6, 2007, six miners were trapped or killed in a collapse of the Crandall Canyon mine in Utah. After three rescuers were killed and three others injured trying to enter the mine on August 17, the Mine Safety and Health Administration, or MSHA, considered waiving standards for the operation of potentially explosive equipment in coal mines, and on August 21st began the process of allowing a robot to enter through small boreholes drilled from above. In three days, the Nuckton Services of Canada constructed a variant of their teleoperated waterproof robots to be connected to a Pipeye International tether and controller system. The 70-pound robot had a camera in front for navigation and was deployed in a flattened condition. It then exited the hole and raised a 10-inch silver Spectrum 90 pan-tilt zoom camera with 200 watts of light. The robot had to be deployed from a rugged conditions on a mountaintop 10,000 feet above sea level. It had to travel 2,000 feet down an 8 and 7 8 inch uncased borehole. It then had to pass through the steel mesh that holds up mine roofs. Once on the floor, the robot needed to crawl up to 1,000 feet, dragging the tether. The robot experienced numerous difficulties as it went down two boreholes for a total of four insertions. The robot got to within 10 feet of the mine opening at hole 3, but could go no further due to protrusions in the hole. Approximately 8.5 gallons a minute of water and debris were flowing over the robot, fouling the camera at each hole. At hole 4, the robot was finally able to enter the mine with both cameras covered in water, debris, and drilling foam. It slid into place and was able to show that this part of the mine had collapsed due to micro-seismic activity. There was no reason to go further, and after a day of effort, the robot re-entered the borehole. On ascent, however, the robot was lost about 52 feet from the surface as the borehole eroded and showered boulders on the robot. On Friday, August 31st, we told the families we had done our best, but the robot long shot did not pay off. Imshaw then closed the response. This effort highlights the need for additional research and development in self-cleaning sensors and sensor placement, mobility, power and communications, and human-robot interaction.